Hello and welcome. My name is Charlene Smith and I am here to preview the Champions League game which is taking place tomorrow at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal versus Porto. Now we do know that Porto are currently leading with a 1-0 aggregate score with uh, the fixture that we played over at their place. So tomorrow is going to be a big day, well big evening for the Gunners to go out there at the Emirates and get the all-important result in order to progress on to the next round. Guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for being patient. I want to know, how are you guys feeling about tomorrow? I was just on Instagram speaking to a couple of fans who are feeling confident that we're going to go out there and we're going to get that all-important win. And they're feeling quite confident that we are going to score a decent amount of goals. Is there anyone who's feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit questionable? Anyone who is feeling like, you know what, this may go to penalties? Get active in the comments. Let me know. Big up to Kemma from Jamaica. How are you? Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining. Kemma's feeling quite confident. 4-1 win. Love that. Big up to Donovan as well, saying a good evening, Bab. A good evening to you. Nelson, ready, waiting. I'm so sorry. I was on Instagram. I got speaking to you lovely people on Instagram and I was like, okay, I need to come off here now because I knew you lovelies will be here waiting for me. Big up to Nelson saying lots of love from Doha. Oh, sending lots of love to Doha. I would love to visit there. Big up every time, Charlene and the chat. Big up to you, Eros. Uh, big up to Nelson saying beautiful Arsenal fan. Thank you. Remember, it's a team effort. We're all beautiful Arsenal fans. Uh, good evening, Shah. How are you? And it was great speaking to you on Instagram. Big up to Ashoke, who is also doing a live stream for the Chelsea game. Chelsea versus Newcastle. Uh, his prediction for that game is a one-all draw. So there you go. You get the information here first. <laughs> I hope that was okay to say that. I mean, he did just say it on Instagram, so I presume it is. Big up to Kimo saying, hi, Smith. I tried joining you on Instagram, but wouldn't. Oh, I was trying to add you. I think you was probably the person who didn't have um, good reception. Well, thank you for coming over to YouTube. Big up to Tyrone Steven saying, hey, we need to fully focus tomorrow. And then we will get the job done. And my score prediction is 3-1. Come on, you gunners. Love that. Big up to NGA saying, baby. Good evening from Sierra Leone, says Alu. Good evening to all of you over in Sierra Leone. Guys, I'm always excited to hear what countries you are from. So, let us know. We want to know where you're tuned in from. If you're putting a flag, make sure you put the country next to it because you guys know how I can be. Big up to all of our Sierra Leone family. Eros is saying we need to win 3-1 tomorrow to the Arsenal. We definitely do. We want a nice, comfortable win. I personally do feel like it's going to be a completely different game to that away game. You know, Porto's now coming to the Emirates Stadium. It's going to be a completely different atmosphere. I'm going to be at the game tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. And I mean, if you guys want to know what the atmosphere is like in the um, grounds, then head over to my match day vlog and you can get an insight into how, how exciting and how energetic the Emirates Stadium is. So, yeah, head over there and have a look. Robert saying, Hey, Charlene, love from the United States. Sending lots of love to all of our United States family. Oh, we got Kemma as well from United States, Virginia. Big up to everyone in the United States. Nelson's going for a 4-1 Arsenal win. Rodney's saying that big up, Charlene, Arsenal for life. Big up to you, Rodney. You know the vibes, baby. Cheers, Charlene. Cliff here. I spoke to you earlier on Instagram. Come on, you gunners. Yes, it was lovely speaking to you, Cliff. And thank you for heading over to YouTube to come and speak to us here. We appreciate your thoughts and your opinions um, ahead of tomorrow's game. Kemar is saying tomorrow is going to be an exquisite. I do love that word. 
day for us because we are going to have a qualifying game tomorrow. That is the energy that I like. Godwin is saying, God bless you, Charlene. Come on, you gunners. Oh, thank you. God bless you also. And God bless everyone else who is here live with us. North London forever. You guys know I had to sing that one. <laughs> and if Doug was here live, he'd be like, Shah, you're just finding any excuse to sing. <laughs> Big up to Doug and to Millie as well. Um, I've been having pleasant games this season. Come on, you guys. Yes. I mean, since we've come back from that international break, we have definitely been having some amazing, amazing results. Minus that 1-0 Porto um, defeat. But, you know, we've got the second leg, which we'll be playing tomorrow. But other than that, we've been doing amazing. I'm actually really, really proud of the team and the way that they've been performing. And it's great to go into the international break as well. You know, top of the Premier League table. We do know that when we resume back from that international break, the team that we will be playing in the Premier League is Man City. So maybe during this international break, maybe we need to go to Dubai. Maybe that should be on the agenda, you know, to go to Dubai. And, you know, just freshen things up a bit. You know, if we need to take a rest, if we need to do some warm weather training, whatever we've done previously, maybe now's a good time to go and just top up on that. So when we come back, we are fresh and ready for Man City. Um, did anyone watch that game yesterday? I'm sure you guys were watching it <laughs> like I was. Uh, eyes glued to the TV. Uh, we was all hoping for a draw. And we we did manage to get that in the end, you know. Uh, Liverpool versus Man City resulted in a one-all draw. So, yeah, I was really, really happy with that result. And I was happy that that penalty wasn't awarded as well. So, yeah, great result there and a great way to go into the international break. Arsenal on top, baby. We do know as well that um, Edison is, you know, is due to be out injured. You know, obviously, we don't like to hear of any players, you know, getting injured or anything like that. But does anyone feel like, well, actually, you know, now is a good time to be playing Man City. The fact that, you know, Edison is likely to not be a part of the team. Do you think that, you know, that could sort of work in our favour to, you know, perhaps, you know, win the Premier League? Let me know. Get active in the comments, guys. I really do want to hear from you. As I am here speaking to you, um, Chelsea are just getting ready to play Newcastle in the Monday night football. So the players have just come out onto the pitch and Sky Sports are announcing the starting 11 for both sides. All right, guys, let me hear what you are saying. Mr. Roving Eye is saying, wow, is predicting a 6-0 win. Oh, I would love to see us score six goals tomorrow. That would be amazing. And he is from South Africa. Big up to all of our family over in South Africa. Nelson is going for a 3-1 win extra times. We got respect for Porto fam. Okay, big up to Nelson who's predicting a 3-1 win and is also just you know, putting a bit of respect on Porto's name ahead of tomorrow's game. AG is saying, hi, hello to you. And beautiful voice, says Eros. I mean, just loving my voice, you know. You guys know I can hit those high notes. Um, Cute. Oh, thank you for the compliment. Hopefully we get a cute result tomorrow. Are you going to watch the Chelsea game? Yes, Ashoke. I have it on the TV right in front of me as we speak. Uh, they're just announcing the Newcastle lineup right now. Great result for Arsenal. Listen, that was a fantastic result yesterday. I know you Arsenal fans were probably celebrating and cheering as much as I was with that result. Um, and if you are, I was thinking of inviting you to my channel to give your thoughts. Oh, unfortunately, I can't be on two channels at once. So, yeah, I'm here right now. Maybe depending on what time. Um, this game, this stream finishes, then maybe I could head over after. 
So yeah, let's see what time we end on here, Ashoke. Dubai is a must, says Nelson. Uh, it definitely is. Or unless, you know, they may want to go to another country, you know, who knows? Tyrone is saying, yeah, I was watching it. Happy that we are top of the league. Love that, Tyrone. Uh, Kimo is saying, my happiest day was when Arsenal visited California, LA to play Barcelona. I was right in front of the team. LA is my hometown and I did everything for me to be shown on TV. Come on, you gunners. Oh, I love that, um, Kemo. I love that you was able to be amongst a great atmosphere and, you know, and watch Arsenal live. That is such an amazing experience. I'm so happy to hear that you got to experience that. AG is going for a 4-0 Arsenal win. I was also happy with the results yesterday. Yep. I love that everyone was just like tuned in, watching closely. Are we going to be top of the league? Uh, you know, that's that's where we belong at the end of the season as well. Big up to Shay as well. How are you, Shay? Lovely to have you here joining us. Shay is a regular and does normally join uh, the stream on the post-match reactions. Shay is going for a 2-0 Arsenal win tomorrow. Omnicom sets is also going for a 2-0 Arsenal win. I affirm so. I do like the language that you guys um, use on here. Arsenal top. You know the vibes, baby. Charlene, who do we sub for Martinelli tomorrow night? Okay, so in the game... So, guys, by the way, that um, Chelsea game has kicked off. In the game against Brentford, we did start with Trossard. I think Trossard looked, you know, kind of bright. I, I was liking what I was seeing from Trossard. Um, for tomorrow's game, I guess the options that we have is to start Trossard on that left-hand side. We could start Reese Nelson there. Or we could start Gabriel Jesus. We did see Jesus go, come on, you know, the end of that Brentford game, um, really trying to impact the game. I was actually hoping that he would score a goal. So, yeah, out of those options... Who would you guys prefer? I mean, Kai Havertz has been amazing. So Kai Havertz has to start. So maybe we could play Jesus out on the left. So, you know, we've got more um, of an attacking force. Let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Or would you prefer to see Trossard, you know, start there or even Reese Nelson? Let me know your thoughts. Mr. Roving Eye is saying... Kivior must start tomorrow. Zinchenko can't defend. I agree with you that um, Kivior is a must starter. I want to see Kivior. I mean, I've been saying to you guys for time. Remember, if you look back on these streams, I've been saying I do prefer Kivior to be starting at left back. I think he's really good defensively. Um, even him getting forward as well. I think he's a great player. So Kivior is definitely my preferred starter. I did actually see the training picks as well. And I saw that Tommy Asu and Urian Timber was um, involved in the outdoor training. So that is something really positive to see. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. Charlene, how are you? Big up to Joshua. I'm amazing. Thank you. How are you? I'm really, really looking forward to tomorrow's game. How are you feeling? Are you excited? I think you've just answered that question. So let me see what you're saying. We got we are we got a win tomorrow, and I can't lie, we can give a revenge. And yes, start Kai Havertz, he will score. Um, do you know what I must say as well? I do love the fact that you know the Arsenal fans are like, do you know what? Kai Havertz is someone who has to start, you know, because the energy has completely turned around for him. So I'm really, really happy to see that. And I'm just so happy to see him, you know, performing to a good standard, scoring goals and just doing amazing, just really settling into the team really well. Um, he's looking really, really confident. And Mikel Arteta, you've brought out a great player, like you've brought out that player in him, you know, you've boosted his confidence. And yeah, it's just amazing. It's so, so beautiful to see. Kimar is saying, I hope we go to Dubai for the international break. There we have the vibes to beat teams. Exactly. 
we are coming hard after the international break for City. Exactly. So after that, well, we have got 10 games left to play in the Premier League. So we need to be geared up and ready. So a break to Dubai will definitely do us well, you know, like last time. Um, Omni Comtex is saying, do you think Jesus can give the team quality minutes? I would like to hope that he can give the team quality minutes. Um, Des, on the other hand, is saying Trossard must start. I mean, I did really like what I saw from Trossard. From, like, where I was sitting, like, you could literally see, I don't know if they were showing it on TV, but, like, he had, like, two players, 2v1, both on him. He managed to get himself out of really tight and difficult situations against Brentford. Um, I just thought he looked really bright. So, I would actually, I, do you know what? My preferred child, my preferred choice would actually be to see, um, why am I talking like this? <laughs> my preferred starter would actually be Trossard. Um, and then if we have Jesus come off the bench, he's going to be more hungry as well to want to impact games. He's going to be more hungry to want to score some goals. So, yeah, let Trossard start. But the thing is with Trossard as well, I mean, he's a great player to come off the bench. You know, he'll come off the bench and impact games. He'll come off the bench and score goals. So either one, but I did really, really like what I saw from Trossard. I will be at the Emirates tomorrow. So I'm excited uh, to go and be amongst the atmosphere. That is why I'm actually doing this preview today because timing for tomorrow is going to be very tight. So I thought, do you know what? Let me do the preview today so I can get to the Emirates in good time and, you know, be ready, baby. Big up to Rodney Stewart saying Arsenal will beat City, Partey and Rice. Boom! Yes. I've actually got a really good feeling about that game against Man City. I really, really do feel like we are going to win. We are going to beat them. You know, I'm feeling so confident. I know that is some time away. Um, it's at the end of the month, the 31st of March, I believe. But um, yeah, I'm excited for that one. The lineup should be Trossard, Saka, Havertz. So that is exactly what we saw against Brentford. So Omni Concepts is saying stick with that, which I agree with as well. You know, Saka goes without saying. Havertz is just doing amazing and Trossard looked great as well. In terms of goalkeepers, guys, uh, who's your preferred choice? My preferred choice um, will be David Rea. I do feel like Mikel Arteta will revert back to having David Rea in between the sticks. I mean, obviously there's, you know, a lot of talk about Aaron Ramsdale and, you know, conceding that goal. But listen, I'm, I personally am not upset that he conceded that goal because I'm not seeking perfection from our keepers. Obviously, we want ideally to get a clean sheet, but he made some big saves and we managed to get the win. You know, we managed to get that all important win. It's understandable that he hasn't been having minutes. So, you know, it's a lot for a player to deal with mentally as well as physically. Not, you know, being part of the team, not getting those minutes, you know, you're going to be a bit rusty. So it's all understandable. Um, and yeah, I'm just happy. Oh, God, Chelsea's got to go. I didn't even see. <laughs> I've been so busy here chatting. I'm just seeing 1 0 Chelsea, 1 0 Chelsea. Oh, who scored the goal? Raw, I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised at that. So just under eight minutes into the game and Chelsea are leading 1-0 against uh, Newcastle. And obviously I've got the sound off because I'm streaming right here with you guys. So I didn't hear the chairs or anything. I haven't got a clue who scored that goal. So if you guys could kindly let us know in the chat who scored for Chelsea, that will be absolutely amazing. Smith. I do love that you guys are calling me by my surname. <laughs> I'm telling you, when we beat City after the international break, we are fine. Because other teams will continue looking at us like, wow, Arsenal is now title contenders. I was in pain last year. And um, yes, that is a very important uh 
comment that you've put there. Because I feel like, you know, people perhaps ain't putting enough respect on our names, you know, with all the amazing things that we're doing. And we are very much up there as title contenders. So, you know, people need to start understanding that and believing that. Um, I did actually see some stats as well, you know, sort of showing the probability um, expectations of who will win the league. And we was, you know, at the bottom with like 17% or whatever. I can't remember what Man City and Liverpool had or whatever, but I just thought, mate, like, put some respect on our name, man. <laughs> but yes, by the way, it is Jackson who did score the goal for Chelsea. Um, so yeah, they just sort of played a replay. But we are definitely title contenders. We are very much up there. I mean, we are top of the Premier League table. And the amazing thing is as well, like, we are beating teams in good style, good, like, fashion. We are literally going and playing against teams and turning them over, you know, minus Brentford, but literally turning them over in the first half, like, to the point where the fans cannot even deal with it. The opposition fans are leaving early, you know. Hopefully we see that again tomorrow against Porto. Please give Partey a start in in the 11. So let Partey start and let's win the game first half. I mean, ideally, yes, we do want to win the game first half. Now, with the comment about please let Partey start, for me, I get a little bit concerned when players, especially players like Thomas Partey, who tend to be quite injury prone, when they start games, I prefer to let them come on later on in the game. So for me, I personally would not start Thomas Partey. It'd be nice to see him get some minutes, but I would not start him. I would stick with um, Jorginho. Jorginho, Rice, Odegaard would be my midfield. Bring Partey on later in the game. I know we're all excited and we want to see Partey playing, but on the other hand, we want to make sure we manage him properly and ease him back into games. I do feel like Porto are going to be, you know, quite a challenging team. You know, we did see when we played them at their place, they were quite hard to break down and everything. So I do feel like it's going to be quite a challenging game against Porto. However, like I said, the atmosphere in the Emirates is going to be amazing. It's going to be loud. You know, the us Arsenal fans are just amazing. And we really do get behind the team. And the, the players love it. You see them like, come on, like, cheering us on to just be loud and leery. Um, and it definitely, definitely makes a huge difference and gives the players a great confidence boost. So tomorrow, I am confident that we will get the win. Um, on the other hand, I do feel like it is going to be a challenging game, but it is a game that we can handle and we will win. So that is what I'm saying. Des Ghana is saying, I actually feel sorry for Ramsdale making a mistake like that as a goalkeeper was horrendous, but he did make up for it in the second half. I go with Ray up for tomorrow. And yes, I do understand what you're saying. And I do understand that you feel sorry for Ramsdale. But what I did like as well about when um, we conceded that goal straight away, like one of the players, I can't even remember who it was. I think it might have been Ben White or Gabrielle went straight up to Aaron Ramsdale and sort of like patted him on the head and sort of hugged him a bit to say like, don't worry, it's all right, keep your head up. Do you know what I mean? And that is what we want to be doing as a team. Remember, it's a team effort. So um, it's understandable as well that, you know, he may, you know, make an error. You know, he's human. He's not perfect. You know, it was the same thing when we played Brentford away. You know, it was the same situation where, you know, Ramsdale made an error and conceded a goal. So, you know, the main thing is that, you know, he did make some saves, some really, really good saves, and we managed to get the win. I guess it would have been a bit more upsetting if we, you know, perhaps drew or whatever. So, yeah, Gareth G Southgate um, is at this Chelsea game watching. So they're just showing him in the stands. Oh, and a shot by Newcastle, which has gone straight into the crowd. Who else is watching this Chelsea game as well? 
let us know. Big up to Gary Grant saying, good evening, the beautiful Charlene. Good evening to you. How are you doing? Thank you for joining. e is saying, nah, Partey needs to earn his place back. Yes, I mean, that midfield is looking good. It's looking solid. So, yes, he does need to earn his place back. And also, we need to make sure we manage him properly because we don't want him going out injured again. Sometimes respect is overrated. As long as the players believe and demonstrate their belief on the pitch, that is all that counts. And this is a very good comment, actually. This is very, very good. And this is the right mindset to have. Just make sure you believe. And that is what it's all about. Because when you believe, you will achieve. <laughs> That's the vibes. That's the kind of vibes we on, baby. Partey is not up to speed yet. His time will come soon enough. No rush. And Gary is in agreement with me. You know, there's no need to rush Partey back, especially when, you know, our midfield's looking good. So let him ease his way back in. Big up to Alil Conte saying, I'm also suggesting we forget about the flanks. Instead, we concentrate at the mid build. Okay. Um, why, why are you wanting to not worry about the flanks and just drive through the midfield? Do you think that's a better suited style of playing against Parto? Elaborate. Oh, Newcastle. Got a man down. Seems to be all right. Getting back up. Galeno must stay in London with us. So Mr. Robbing is uh, scouting out some players. I feel David Rea should come back. He will keep goalkeep very well. Are you guys expecting a clean sheet tomorrow? Big up to Shay <laughs> saying Chelsea 1-0. Boo! <laughs> Other than a shock, eh? Is there any other Chelsea fans in the chat? Let us know. Is there any Chelsea fans? Or is there even um, any Newcastle fans as well? Big up to Robert, who is watching this Chelsea game. AG is saying, oh, a 4-0 Arsenal win. I would love to see that. Omniconcepts is saying, I would like to see ESR get more minutes in the team. Do you know, it will be really good to see Emil Smith-Rowe get some minutes. I mean, why do you think he's being held back? I personally am starting to believe that it's something to do with his fitness and perhaps him, you know, coming back from injury or something like that. That is what I'm truly starting to believe because, yeah, he's getting very, very little to no minutes. So I believe... Um, yeah, there's there's a reason to that. Um, ESI is finished, says Eros. I don't think he's finished. I feel like um, whatever situation he has, whatever injury or whatever, just needs to sort of be dealt with and managed in an appropriate manner. That is what I think the situation is. I love all the way from Gambia, but I'm a Liverpool supporter. Big up to main man Malone. Uh, sending lots of love to Gambia. Um, and yeah, Liverpool fan. I mean, what did you make of yesterday's result? Was you happy with that? Main man is also saying, will we ever see you and Pippa again? I mean, I'm sure you will. You guys did actually ask me this on um a last stream as well you know me and Pippa we're obviously just doing separate things you know we've got busy schedules and everything which is why we haven't been doing um any shows together and you know we've also got our YouTube channel as well she's a keeper we just haven't been able to to get some content done together but I'm pretty sure we will have some content at some point I just cannot give you um, a time as to when. So, yeah, hopefully soon. Big up to Niall Kane saying, I think Arsenal will turn it around against Porto, Charlene. Yes, I do believe that we definitely will turn it around. And guys, I, I have actually been hashtagging CS Gunners 
Um, so well done for coming up with that amazing game game that amazing name for this community that we have going on here make sure when you guys are posting your content as well on instagram on tiktok on wherever make sure you are hashtagging cs gunners let's really really push that and grow that um and yeah let's make some exciting things amongst it and i do love you know the positive energy that we always get from you guys and now Kane is saying, make sure you like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much now for reminding everyone. And you have just reminded me that J1 Johnson isn't here. Where is J1? Normally he is, you know, here reminding everyone to like. But thank you so much now for uh, doing that in J1's absence. I really do appreciate that support. Ali is saying, go on Gunas. The winning is for us Sierra Leone fans. We are really desperate for this win and we will go for it. Yeah, listen, I, I believe that the Arsenal players are really, really desperate for this win as well and are going to give it their everything tomorrow out on that pitch to ensure that we do secure a win because, I mean, we don't want to be kicked out. Um of the Champions League, you know, we want to progress on to uh, the quarterfinals. So let's let's push. And I really do feel like the team will give it everything tomorrow. I mean, you see that sometimes we do make things a little bit difficult for ourselves, but we do manage to somehow get the results in the end. So and that is what I'm expecting to see. Gary Grant is saying there's a lot of unity with the boys, and mistakes will happen. More importantly. He bounced back. Well play, well fair play to him. And that is what it's all about, you know, Gary. That's very well said. You know, it's about how we bounce back, how we retaliate. And we did see, you know, that he picked himself up and he went again and we managed to get the win. And, you know, like I was saying as well, you know, he made some really good, crucial saves as well. So, yeah, it's all about how you bounce back for sure. Gary Grant is also watching the game, watching the Rent Boys game as well. <laughs> you guys do make me laugh. I love it. So it's currently 21 minutes gone in the Chelsea versus Newcastle game. And Chelsea are leading 1-0 against Newcastle. It was Jackson who did get the goal. And Newcastle on the attack. And yeah, it's been shut down. Right. Robert is saying, as for the game tomorrow, I believe the boys will come out swinging. Porto wouldn't get away with the rubbish they did in the first leg, diving all over the pitch and the ref allowing it. 3-1 Arsenal. I love that, Robert. Great comment from you. And I totally agree with you. You know, we are going to be on fire tomorrow. We're going to come out strong, solid, we're going to show Porto what time it is and we're definitely going to win that game. That is what I'm saying as well. If it's his fitness, Charlene, why even put him on the bench? Yes, Eros, so Eros is um, referring to ESR because maybe he can do a few minutes, but nothing too extensive. And if we don't have ESR on the bench, is there anyone else that we can put on the bench? Um, so yeah, maybe he can play, but maybe he's not fully 100% fit. That is what I'm saying. I just feel like maybe he's not quiet to the standards and levels that he needs to be at. Hence why, um, he's not getting the minutes. I don't really care about the score lines. I just want Arsenal to just play the best Porto and get to the next round, and big up to Lloyd, I, I love that, I love that, just keeping it 100, listen, don't worry about the scoreline, just win the game, that's all that matters, just make sure you get that all-important win, um, so yeah, love that, oh, we miss you on AFTV game days, I know I miss being on there also, but you know, I will be back very, very soon, I'm obviously at the um, Emirates tomorrow, so I cannot be on the AFTV, AFTV, Ooh, it's getting a bit physical, okay, ball sent in, did the ref blow the whistle, um, yeah, so I cannot be on the AFTV so far tomorrow for sure, because I'm going to be at the game, but I'm sure 
very, very soon I will be back on that sofa. Um, Palma looking quite strong in this game. I am concerned about our next Premier League match against City. Is that after watching the Liverpool game that you're feeling a bit concerned? Let me know. Um, or is it because it's Man City? <laughs> Listen, I understand and it's normal to sort of feel concerned about, you know, playing teams like City, but we're champions, you know, you have to have that champion mindset, boy, and you can't go into any games fearing anyone, you know, you need to go in there, you need to be focused, you need to be ruthless, and you need to perform to the highest standard, excuse me, sorry, you need to just perform to the highest standard and just get the results, so no fear, baby. But yeah, I do understand what you're saying. But don't forget, we're going to be away, you know, on an international break. And then we're going to come back fresh. So we'll be ready. Um, you know, Man City are likely to have um, Edison out to injury as well. So, you know, you just you just never know what's going to happen on the day. Eros is saying, great community. So this is the CS Gunners community that he is talking about. And yes, it definitely is a great community for sure. Much love to the CS family. Yes, we're a family, baby. I do love this. Maybe we could hashtag CS Gunners, CS family as well. Two all, Chelsea again on the attack. I haven't been fully, fully watching the game. But um, who's looking stronger? I mean, Chelsea are showing a decent... Um, Burst of energy, trying to make things happen. But Newcastle are also showing some qualities as well. Well, from the little peaks that I'm getting. <laughs> to elaborate about my comments previously, Porto's concentration is on the flanks. Okay, I get it. Take a look back from the past game. They never allowed our flankers to push forward or even to get a shot on target. Yes, that is so, so true. So, yes, I totally get what you're saying about you know, playing through the midfield. And I guess that sort of stems down to them, you know, studying the way we play, our style of playing, everything, and obviously closing in on that. So, yes, I totally get what you're saying. Man, main man Malone is saying, I want to see you grow your channel so bad. Just my opinion. I think you'll need to go into more debate shows and be giving it out hair till 100k subs. Ah, oh, thank you so much, uh, main man Malone, for number one, you know, supporting my channel. And number two, you know, just wanting to see me grow and progress. And obviously having that belief that I will reach 100k subs and beyond. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. And yes, I, I hear what you're saying about, you know, going into more debate shows and stuff like that. I guess, you know, everyone has, you know, different styles um, of content and stuff like that. So who knows what the future holds. But thank you for being here and supporting. And, you know, this channel is definitely growing. It's about, you know, you only get out what you put in. So you put in the work and you will get the results. You know, it's the same with the Arsenal team. If they put in the work, then, you know, we managed to get amazing results. So it's the same concept for me here as well. So thank you. And thank you to everyone who is supporting for just being a part of this channel, for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, for coming live, for, you know, just kicking back, chilling and still being a part of the show. You know, you guys are all greatly appreciated. So thank you. Omni Concepts is saying, I prefer the word determined to win as opposed to desperate. Yes. I do love that as well, determined. Words are very, very powerful. So, you know, in day-to-day -day life, we do need to pick our words carefully. So I do like the way Omniconcept has rephrased this. We are determined. We're not desperate. We're determined. You know, all about the right mindset. Honestly, the 11 against Bradford should start including Rambo. Parte and be injected later. Think for us. Oh, so score prediction is Arsenal 4 0. Um, two for Kai Havertz and one each for Odegaard and Rice. So big up 
to Mustafa, who is predicting a 4-0 Arsenal win, who is predicting for Kai Havertz to score two goals and Odegaard and Rice to each score a goal. And wants to see the same starting eleven that we did have against Brentford and, you know, keeping um, Aaron Ramsdale in between the sticks um, and, you know, bringing Thomas Partey on later on. I mean, is there anyone who thinks that Mikel Arteta will start Aaron Ramsdale tomorrow? Let us know in the chat. Do you think, is there any ounce of you, not as in your prediction, not as in like your preference, sorry, but do you think that he will say, do you know what? I'm actually going to start Aaron for this game. Let me know. Well, let me say, let us know. Um, Alou is giving a score prediction of a 4-1 Arsenal win. See, you guys get me so hyped. You guys get me so excited. Every time we do these live shows, you guys are always feeling like, do you know what? We're going to get a bold win. And that is what I love because, you know, people think I'm crazy as it is. And you guys just bring out a crazier energy in me. But I love it. I love it because it does come come true sometimes, you know. And we go to teams and end up, you know, turning them over early doors within the first 15 minutes of the game. So, yeah. If you don't mind, which kind of project, projects you got on your channel? Okay, so on my channel, I have got football content as well as fitness content because I am also a personal trainer and a nutrition coach. So I provide football content, some match day vlogs, preview post-match shows, as well as some fitness videos to help you guys to stay fit and healthy <laughs> and some free workouts as well. So um, some inspiration to help you guys to move your body. I have actually got some get ready with me videos as well. You know, I sit down and do my makeup with you guys and you guys actually enjoy it. I must say, I'll be very honest and transparent with you guys. When I was doing those um, makeup videos, I was thinking my audience is predominantly men. Like it's pretty much, you know, like a very high percentage of men who watch my content. You know, what are they going to think of me doing my makeup? And I thought, Do you know, they're probably going to hate it. They're probably going to unsubscribe and you know, and it was actually the complete opposite. I was actually um, really surprised that you guys, like Mel, my Mel audience members, like absolutely loved my makeup content. And, you know, you guys found it very useful because you're either in a relationship. So, you know, helped you for, you know, your other half. You've got female family members and you're just used to seeing women, you know, do makeup and whatever. But you guys actually really enjoyed me doing my makeup um, and actually wanted more as well. So, yeah, so that went down a great hit. And I must say, I am definitely overdue to do a makeup video. So um, <laughs> that will be coming soon. <laughs> LOL, I wish you was a Liverpool supporter, mate. I definitely don't wish I was. I'm a gooner through and through. Love to be a Guna and I'm proud to be uh, an Arsenal fan. So, yeah, that is something that is never going to change. And, yeah, I'm just happy that I support, you know, the best team in the Premier League. Just putting it out there. <laughs> My makeup has been spot on since I watched those videos. <laughs> See, I just love the banter from you guys as well. Um, but, yeah, it's nice for you guys to get an insight into what happens, you know, behind the scenes to see how I get ready for a game. What are you guys saying about my makeup today? Are you liking it? Can you see that my tan is fading a lot now and I'm starting to look, you know, like my usual complexion? But yeah, what are you guys saying about my makeup today? I feel like when I talk, like my lipstick does sort of run, well, get caught up in the corners. <laughs> um, I'm one of many fans in South Africa that think um, the Kai Havertz song needs to change. Too much disrespect for the player who's playing very well for us and proving many like F is wrong. Lo hashtag love Arsenal. Hashtag CS family. Ah, big up to Lloyd um, and big up to everyone in South Africa. I guess, you know what is these songs just come um, and they just, sort of become like a chant sort of, you know, and people just get used to singing them. 
I don't think it's, you know, any disrespect on the player, you know, when it's being sung, you know, after he's scoring a goal. It's more just encouragement and just, you know, just sort of exciting sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's coming, you know, in a disrespectful way. It's even like on Sunday, what was it Sunday? No, sorry, Saturday when we played Brentford, you know, at the end when, you know, the players were going around waving to everyone post-match. You know, in the stadium, they was playing Rice, Rice, baby, you know. Um, so, yeah, it just sort of becomes a part of the atmosphere, I guess. Um, obviously, I couldn't keep the music in my match day vlog because of copyrights and everything. So, you guys wasn't able to um, hear the music, but that's what they was playing. And do you know what? Saying that, actually, you guys just reminded me at half time. Who else was at the Emirates? They was playing um, some some vibesy music and I was thinking okay is this is what Arsenal's coming with yeah some nice vibes music as well I can't remember what song it was what it was something that I'd probably listen to uh AG is going for a 4-1 Arsenal win uh Michael saying yes Lloyd Ben White it's great to watch him I'm a big fan of his okay okay so Lloyd is saying show some love for Ben White people in the chat Southgate keeps passing him over he will keep improving and playing his best for Arsenal. Now, we did actually have this conversation the other day about Ben White because there was someone else in the group chat as well saying, well, why isn't Ben White being selected for England? And, you know, it's a question that we're all asking because Ben White is amazing. Like, he's such an amazing player defensively, getting forward, overlapping, you know, adding goals to his game. Let's not forget as well, he's actually a centre-back. You guys just reminded me the other day, you know, he's always playing right-back. You actually forget that he sort of did start as our centre-back. But he's such a great player. For me personally, I'm I'm not actually fussed that he's not getting the England call-up because it's less likely for him to get injured on international duties if he's not there. So, um, yeah, so I'm not too fussed in that respect. But in terms of the player and if he wants to you know, sort of have those caps, you know, on his name, then 100%. He should be top of the list for defenders um, in South Gates. South Gates, I can't even talk. In Gareth South Gates, um, player selections. Ben White should definitely be top. That is what I'm saying. But I think there's been a fallout. Because I, it's just beyond me as to how he cannot be getting called up. Because don't forget, he did go to Qatar and he left early. So I reckon there has been a, a, a fallout there. Gary Grant is saying, not a chance. Raya is Arteta's man, as in, you know, it's his main man. That is who's going to be starting. And I do agree with Gary Grant. I do feel like it will be um, Raya to start and go. But... Imagine if it is Ramsdale. But, yeah, I do feel like it will be um, David Raya. Um, let me just see what you guys are saying. There's a few comments on the makeup <laughs> um, situation. So, Shoke is saying, my girlfriend used to put makeup on my face, LOL. How did she put makeup on your face? Did she apply it to your face? Or did she kiss you and get makeup on your face? Let us know how that got applied. Um Charlene, will UEFA Champions League lose its charm if Arsenal goes out tomorrow? Well, I'm saying no, it will not lose its charm because we're not going out tomorrow. So the charm is very much still going to be there because Arsenal will be winning tomorrow. AG saying Saka's, oh, 13 goals and eight assists. Our star boy, that is. Declan Rice has got quite a few as well. Um, so yeah, we got some good quality players. And what I love as well is we're not just dependent on one person to score goals. You know, the goals are being distributed amongst the team. So, you know, it's just, it's just so beautiful and amazing to see. After the weekend, I'm not a Ramsdale fan anymore. What? I'm definitely a rare fan. Guys, come on. We can't be so, you know, all right, you've made a mistake. That's it. I'm not a fan of you no more. We we have to stay united and we have to stay, you know, behind the team. You know, it's just a mistake. It's understandable. He hasn't been playing. He hasn't started in so long. What was the last game he started? 
you know, we have to remember that he is human. We cannot seek perfection. You know, he's he made more good saves than that one goal that he conceded. You know, he did make some... Did you see that shot from um, Ivan Tony? Do you know what I mean? He had to save that. And there was other saves that he made as well. So, yeah, man, let's, let's just be patient and take time, you know? Take time with the players. She wanted to make me beautiful so that she can kiss me. <laughs> You're so funny, Ashoka. You're beautiful already. That is my advice. Natalie, big up to Natalie saying, Timber tomorrow, back or to Manchester. <gasps> Mate, it will be great to see Timber get some minutes. Again, if he's fit and ready to start, I would not start him. Not at all, but it'd be great to see him come on, you know, at the end and get a few minutes a free kick for um, Newcastle, which has yeah, gone over. Uh, as it stands, the game is still currently 1-0 to Chelsea. Uh, it was headed over um, the goal by Isaac, I think that was. Um, it's the play pace of our passing at the back. That's the difference between the goalkeepers. Okay, yeah, I do get what you're saying. But Aaron Ramsey, I mean, he done pretty well, you know, sort of playing out from the back as well. So yeah, I'm not I'm not like highly concerned. I bet she put red and white makeup on a shocke. LOL. I bet she had a blue and white makeup ready and your changed colours. It's <laughs> probably why Ashoke is always interacting with, you know, us Arsenal fans. <laughs> Uh, big up to AG, providing some stats for the players as well, saying Rice is on six goals and five assists, mate. I love to see that. Love it. Like, Declan Rice is just amazing. And did you guys see? So, obviously, um, he scored that goal. But, wait, sorry. Wait, I'm forgetting who scored. I'm, I'm losing track of who scored goals. Did you see that shot as well from Declan Rice? Yeah, it was Declan that scored the first goal and then Kai Havertz scored the second. But did you see that shot from Declan Rice that hit the woodwork? Mate, I was losing my mind with that one. Um, It's hard to get tickets now because of all the new ballot system. Yeah, big up to Lee as well. It is, you know, really difficult. I mean, I get countless messages of, from people like asking to get tickets. So, yeah, it's very, very difficult. Oh, thank you, Charlene. Didn't expect you to say that. I just state facts, darling. Strengthening my case for Ramsdale against Porto. A lot of bruising games coming in the Premier League. I believe Arsenal will be in the qualifiers. Oh, quarterfinals. <laughs> quarterfinals. It's getting late, guys. Quarterfinals of the Champions League. Semi-finals and the final. So we going to need to top to top stoppers through all absolutely listen we are going to make it all the way to the final for sure big up to Mustafa with that comment and you know like someone said earlier it's all about the belief if we just believe put that work in we'll get that result so yes I'm feeling very positive about this team oh my god Newcastle have just gone I didn't see the goal but I just saw it flash up uh go it looks like it may be Isaac who did score the goal. So, us um, Newcastle fans are happy and raring. It, the game is on the 42nd minute and it is looking like it was Isaac who um, did score for Newcastle. So, one all at the bridge. Nobody shoots on. Oh, okay, lovely. Jeez, good go as well from Isaac. Controlled lovely around the defender and boom, slotted in. One all it is. They are comparing Rice to Fiera. I have, oh, Patrick Vieira. I have to agree. I mean, yes, Rice is a fantastic, fantastic player. And to be, you know, compared to an Arsenal legend like that is, is saying levels. And it is Isaac that scored. Um, Gary Grant is confirming. Thank you guys for being quick and active, letting us know the updates because, you know, we just get caught up 
talking and you know missing the goals and everything that's happening in the game so thank you guys for uh updating us there man lou tata charlene as a red devil i would want your club to win the league but not to sing the uefa champions league song is that okay Big up to this Manchester United fan. Do you know, I didn't actually realise he was a Man U fan. <laughs> but, um, yeah, do you know, respect to you as well for, like, putting some respect on our name and showing that, you know, we deserve to win the Premier League. Um, ideally, we would love to do the double. I'm not going to lie. It'd be great to win the Premier League and the Champions League. Guys, can you actually imagine if that's the case? Like, us winning the Premier League and the Champions League without, you know, that striker that everyone was feeling like we desperately needed in the January transfer window. Imagine we do actually do that. Like, that would just be an absolute madness. Obviously great for, you know, Mikel Arteta and, you know, all that belief and everything that he's doing. Charlene, what is the secret behind Arsenal's team spirit? And is it an advantage at this time of the season? Oh, mate, what is the secret behind Arsenal's team spirit? Dubai. <laughs> Dubai, that is what it is. Do you know what? I just feel like, you know, at Arsenal, we have obviously set ourselves some goals because it was Mikel Arteta's plan to sort of get the fans reunited and reconnected you know back with the club and everything and you know that is a box that we can tick he's done that it was about him you know freshening things up amongst the team you know moving on players who were not you know doing what was expected of them bringing in new players you know it was about having a young squad developing the players you know, implementing, you know, a style of play and everything. So I feel like there was, oh, Chelsea on the attack here. There was um, a lot of things that Arteta and the team sort of had planned as to what they want to do. And that's what they've been doing, working towards the goals that they've set out. Um, also, it's been about, you know, managing the players in an appropriate way, bringing out the best in the players as well, coaching them in the right way and you know when you're coaching players I guess it's not just about okay their technical ability on the ball it's about you know coaching them mentally physically emotionally spiritually you know on all different levels you're working with people it's about you know coaching people in different aspects people learn in different ways develop in different ways thrive in different ways you know we'll take Kai Havertz as a prime example when he came to Arsenal it was very evident that he was very low on confidence, you know, and, you know, through the amazing work that, you know, Arsenal have done as a team, you know, the coaching staff, as well as the players and everything, you know, look at the player that he is today in comparison to the player that he was before, you know, his goal celebration says it all, the first goal that he scored, you know, it was almost as if he didn't know how to celebrate because his confidence was so low. Whereas now you see him celebrating boldly and really, shining through so that is the team spirit behind arsenal <laughs> i hope that all made sense to you guys and let me know if you're in agreement oh was there a second goal i didn't even see that well, it was ruled offside i didn't even see that i started getting into into a, a, um a rant well not a rant i started getting a bit passionate about what i was talking about um hey red devil leave the area <laughs> You guys are funny. I mean, we do get different fans. It's oh, another shot for Newcastle. It's not all just oh, it looks like that was Joe Willock. Um, yeah, it's not all just Arsenal fans. Um, but we do get other fans, and some of them are quite cool, you know, like this man U fan saying, you know, Arsenal's gonna win the league. So we get some cool ones. We do normally have a Liverpool fan who's normally a bit leery. Guys, please do excuse me for one second. I just need to have a sip of um water because I've been talking for a whole hour. Gosh, I've got some lemon water here. Uh -huh. I actually needed that. Um, yes. Well said, Charlene. You put it perfectly. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for um 
understanding and agreeing. Where's your boy Kalechi speaking of Red Devils? Big up to Eros because I know what Kalechi you're talking about. Oh, Chelsea here on the attack. Ah, who's that bombing forward? Was that um, Kukurela? I think I can't even see properly. Um, yeah, listen, he is talking about the Manchester United fan <laughs> who came live on this one of these. I shot here. Who was that? Sterling. And it was saved by the keeper. All right, so there was a Manchester United fan who came live on the stream um, and basically asked me to marry him and said that he would, you know, ditch his team. So he'll stop being a Manchester United fan and become an Arsenal fan if I marry him. I mean, that is insane. Like, of all the proposals to give, that that has got to be you know, down at the bottom, you know, <laughs> that is telling me you are not loyal. I mean, how can you go from supporting Man U to supporting Arsenal for a woman? That is crazy. Listen, that is one thing I would never do. I would always pick football. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> oh, mate, is there anyone else, guys? All right, so update on that game. Half time it is currently Chelsea one, Newcastle one. Is there anyone here who would, you know, like switch teams for a relationship? That is just wild, exactly, Tyrone. That is that was wild, Char. That was very, very wild. That's lovely, but Charlene finds Man United male fans disgusted. And I, I did not say that. I did not say anything like that so no it's not even that like you need to stay like for example if I had a boyfriend um and he supported a different team like what I would want to see from you is you stay loyal to your team yeah don't think oh you support whatever team and then you're going to come and support Arsenal because I'm an Arsenal fan no that that is not going to work with me <laughs> okay because I would never change my team for a man like, that is just insane. Hell no, says Eros. So, yeah. Loyalty is very important, especially in football. <laughs> so, that is what I'm saying. Gary Grant is saying, roll on tomorrow. Come on, you gunners. You know the vibes. We are excited for that game tomorrow. Eros is saying, facts, Charlene. Uh, big up to AG saying, Charlene, hi. Yes, it definitely is facts. You know, you need to stay loyal to your team. You know, what what, what would you guys do? do you know, let me ask some questions because I've had people ask me questions before and I've given my honest opinion. So guys or girls, you know, if you was, if you, was you know, going to go on a date with someone and you found them very attractive, like, well, I believe the saying is 10 out of 10 these days, you know, there was 10 out of 10, you really liked them or whatever, um, but, you know, your team was playing a game, what would you rather, what would you pick, would you go on a date with this person, or would you go and watch your team play football, and just do the date on another day, I mean, what is your priority, what is more important, because I said, well, 100%, that one's a no-brainer, like, Obviously, I'm going to watch my team play. You know, that is a no-brainer. I'd rather do that than go on a date. Uh, what is you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. What would you pick, a date or football? And be completely honest. I follow Arsenal to come from Trossard. Big up to Natalie, who is following Arsenal um, for Trossard. I thought I'd ask her to come from Trussard to um, support Trussard, I believe, in the Belgium flag. Would you date a Tottenham fan, Charlene? I um, don't know. It depends on who it is. Like, this guy will have to really impress me, you know? I mean, do you know what I've noticed as well? Yeah, just confirming you said I wasn't confident in saying that. <laughs> I'm Belgium, okay. Big up to Nathalie, who is from Belgium and supporting 
Trossard. Um, that is so amazing. Big up to you. And sending lots of love to Belgium. Have that day at the match. Oh, have the day at the match. I mean, you you could do that. You could do that. But what if they're like, oh, but it depends what team they support as well, you know? It depends what team they support because why would they even be asking you so it clashes with the match? You know, so it depends what team they support. Um, and it depends on their vibe as well, you know. They might not even be a like, you know, the right person to have the match with you. They might just, you know, I don't know. Am I too fussy? I know who you can date expressions. <laughs> Do you know? I'm not gonna lie here. When you put that comment, expressions is the first person that came to my head. So um, yeah. Expressions is funny. I do actually like expressions, you know, as a character, as an individual and everything. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to sort of look at people's personalities and stuff like that. So, yeah, you can't rule, rule them out, I guess. I'll rearrange the date and go watch my team play. Yep, that's what I'll do. What if they said, look, if you don't come on this date with me, then that is it then that one would definitely be a no-brainer because I'd be like, all right, I'm definitely going to the game. <laughs> oh. What's up with all the female football pundits are Arsenal fans? Uh, because Arsenal is the best team, that's why. Do you know, I think we've actually... I'm not actually being biased, but I feel like we have got, like, the best fan base. I mean, you know, we've just got, like, such an amazing fan base that I'm actually really happy and proud to be an Arsenal fan. No Arsenal over a date anytime, I'm afraid. No Arsenal over a date. What? You'd go on a date instead? A date anytime, I'm afraid. You'd go on a date instead? Oh, mate, am I reading that wrong? Can someone make sense of this? So, wait, you'd... Yeah, okay. You know, everyone has their preferences. But, yeah, you know, what if you never speak to this person again? What if the date goes horribly wrong? <laughs> You know, you you never regret going to a football match. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, maybe this is the reason why I don't have dates. All right, guys, listen. Exciting talks happening. Let's move on to some stats ahead of tomorrow's game, the all-important game, which is going to be taking place at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal versus Porto. We do know that Arsenal are in a 1-0 deficit as it currently stands because Porto did get that 1-0 win in the previous fixture. So just some stats for you guys ahead of the game. Arsenal have won all three of their home meetings with Porto in all competitions by an aggregate score of 11-0. The most recently won... That did not make sense what I said. The most recent one being a 5-0 win at the Emirates Stadium in March 2010. So we have actually got a good record of winning against Porto. And, you know, our most recent one was a 5-0 win. Can we get a big 5-0 win again tomorrow at the Emirates? We have been scoring, you know, quite high scoring games for us as well you know, minus the Brentford one and obviously the defeat to Porto. But after the international break, we have been scoring goals in that sort of region. So, you know, it is possible. Porto have won just one of their 23 games against English sides in all European competitions where they have drawn free and lost 19. However, that so victory came in Spain against Chelsea in April 2021, which was a 1-0 win, with the Portuguese side winless in all 22 such visits to England. Um, another stat for you guys as well. Arsenal have been eliminated from nine of their 10 previous UEFA Champions League knockout stage ties, in which they've lost the first leg. However, the one exception did come against Porto in the 2009 to 10 um, season, where the score was 2 1 away and 5 0 at home, which was also the last time they progressed past 
the round of 16 in the competition. So that's that is saying, you know, the last time, you know, we did actually lose, you know, 2-1 to Porto. However, we did beat them 5-0 when they came to our home ground. Another stat to share with you guys is Porto have progressed from three and been eliminated from three of their previous six Champions League knockout stage ties in which they've won the first leg. So it's a bit of a 50-50 there for Porto after winning their first leg. They've never won both legs of a knockout tie in the competition before. And they're not about to do that tomorrow, is what I'm saying. Last stat to share with you guys, Arsenal are looking to reach the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal for the first time since 2009-10. to They've been eliminated from the round of 16 more than any other sides, which is nine. Porto and Real Madrid are just beneath that on eight, including each of their last seven appearances in the competition. So that is just, yeah, a few stats to share with you guys ahead of tomorrow's game. I am feeling really, really confident about tomorrow's game. I do feel like we are going to get a win. Um... And yeah, and we're going to progress on. All right, what are you guys saying here in the chat? Okay, so Gary Grant is just rectifying that because I clearly read his comment wrong, saying no, Arsenal over a date anytime, I'm afraid. Great, that is what I want to be hearing. And that is definitely the right decision to make. I mean, I am not the person to take any relationship advice from, but... I can say that this is definitely the right decision to make. Think Gary means no, he would watch Arsenal over Guide on a date. Thank you for also rectifying that um, as well. I clearly read that very wrong. Big up to Charlene, the queen, the legend. Ah, oh, big up to you as well, Noah. Thank you for joining us and for complimenting me in such a way. I got faith that we're going to do it and move on to the quarterfinals. Come on, you gunners. That is what I'm saying as well. I'm feeling really, really confident that we are going to move on to the quarterfinals. It's the 5-0 against them that made me an Arsenal fan 14 years ago. Ah, oh, big up to anti these Gaming. Um, yeah, maybe we could get another 5-0 win, you know, just to celebrate your anniversary of becoming an Arsenal fan. <laughs> so that would be great. The only exception I would make with taking you on a date, Charlene, well, if it was me that you was taking on a date, then it would definitely be at an Arsenal game. So that's that problem solved. You know, although I'm not putting out there that I am open to going on a date, but I'm just, you know, sort of saying that that wouldn't even be an issue because we'll be in the same location. Um, Jose Mourinho won with them, didn't he? Oh, run with Porto. Let us know if that's what you mean. The only exception... Okay. Oh, okay. You put that already. Thank you. Uh, 2003 to four season. Um, Evros is stating to Michael on his question about Porto. Big up to Lasca saying, hi, Charlene. A big hello to you. Uh, Mustafa is saying, a poll at Goldbridge says, Odegaard 66%, while McAllister at 34%. So our captain is a better offensive midfielder, which is 100% true. Charlene Smith, a bit more aggressive delivery will grow this chat. Um, oh, okay. So, yep. Yeah. Our midfielder is definitely better. I mean, Odegaard is definitely better than McAllister. That one is absolutely a no-brainer. I totally agree with that. And Mustafa's saying maybe I should be a bit more aggressive to grow the chat. Um, I'll be completely honest. I'm just being myself. I'm just being real. You know, I don't feel like I need to change my character in order to grow my channel you know you guys are here for me and this is who I am and I just want to be authentic so you guys can see the real me so this is me this is who I am um and yeah I'm not really an aggressive person unless I'm in the gym lifting some heavy ass weights then I may be a bit aggressive then but other than that this is who I am and I think especially with this social media stuff it's 
important to stay authentic to who you truly are. So this is who I am. And if it means I get less views or less growth or whatever, then so be it. I just need to be myself. And that is what's important to me. And, you know, something that I just believe in. I can't play a different character. I ain't an actress, darling. <laughs> not as such, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to put on an act, put on a show and try and be something I'm not. I just want to be who I am. And Charlene Smith, the lady that you see right here. Got a score early, Charlene. I hope we can get a go within the first 10 minutes. Listen, an early go is needed. It is important because that way, you know, we score early, then we've got an aggregate score of one all. It calms the nerves, settles the players, boosts a bit of confidence as well. So, yeah, I'm happy that we did get that win against Brentford because, again, that boosts our confidence even more. But an early go is definitely needed. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do a watch along for the game against Porto as I will be at the Emirates Stadium. So that's why I decided to do the preview today as well. Um, because, yeah, I'm going to be at the stadium. So no watch along tomorrow. But, you know, I will be back very soon with a watch along. I'm just not sure which day. All right. Big up to Ashake saying, here's a stat for you. The last time Arsenal reached the Champions League quarterfinals was in 2010. Yes, I did actually forget to mention that. So thank you so much for mentioning that, Ashoke. Um, so it's been 14 years since we actually reached the quarter finals of the Champions League. So let's change that. Um, big up to Sylvia saying, I miss you on AFTV. Oh, I know, Sylvia. We was just having this um, conversation earlier. And yes, quite a few of you are missing me. Um, but yes, it would just be a matter of time before I am back. See, Charlene, I told you, you have the date at the game. I rest my case. Okay, but all right, imagine it's not an Arsenal fan. Then what are you saying? Oh, another one. Why are you not on AFTV these days? Guys, I know. I, I did say it um, before. The reason I'm not on AFTV is because I'm currently on the bench. <laughs> You know, just like all the other quality players at Arsenal that are sitting on the bench waiting for their time. Um, but yeah, I know some of you guys are getting a bit concerned, like saying, have I left and all of that? But I have not left. I'm just sitting on the bench at the moment. So I will get my, my appearance very, very soon. So yeah, we just got to um, stay tuned for that. But I will keep you guys posted. The moment I am going to be on the AFTV sofa, then I'm going to let you know. So if you're not already make sure you do follow me on Instagram because that's sort of my main place where I'm, you know, updating you guys on a daily basis. So follow me on Instagram and I will let you know when I get that call up. You know, it's like waiting for Gareth Southgate, you know, for the uh, England call up. <laughs> so when I get that call up, then I will let you guys know. Listen, Charlene, as a Man United fan, I want Arsenal to win the Premier League. Oh, another United fan. That's two in the space of, what, 10 minutes, coming on here saying they want Arsenal to win the league because I don't want Liverpool to equal the 20 Premier League and Man City four times in a row. I hope you guys beat Man City. All right. Well, thank you so much, Noah, for sharing your thoughts and your belief in Arsenal. You know, you did forget to mention that, you know, Arsenal are an amazing team, playing a great side of football. They've got a great manager, you know, who utilises the squad really well. And Arsenal deserve to win the league. You forgot to put that part, but there you go. I've said it for you. But no, thank you so much for your comment. I do appreciate um, your, your thoughts and your feelings on how the season's going to pan out. And I'm in agreement with you on the fact that Arsenal do deserve to win the league this season. And I do believe we will. Havertz, striker next year or sign a world-class striker? Um, I think, you know, right now, you know, it, there's no conversation really about getting a striker because we're scoring goals and, you know, we're sharing the goals amongst the team, you know, so... Yeah, it's all working well at the minute. But I do feel like in the summer, we do need to look at bringing in a striker who is going to score us, you know, a significant 
oh, pardon me, sorry, significant amount of goals, you know, golden boot type of team is what I'm talking about. I want to date an Arsenal fan with two season tickets. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is strategic dating. <laughs> I love it, Michael. Do you know, you guys are actually so funny. I do love to hear it. We here with you, Shah. Hey, Jason Miller, big up to you. Yes, as we were saying, we are a community. Hashtag CS Gunners, hashtag CS Family. That's what it's about. You know, we are in this together. So thank you so much for joining. I like what you are doing. Um, I don't need to be aggressive, chat. Yeah, big up to Tyrone as well. So I was um, just speaking earlier where someone did make a comment saying that, you know, maybe I need to be a bit more aggressive. And Tyrone is just obviously giving his thoughts on that saying, you know, he likes what I'm doing and I don't need to be aggressive. And I totally agree with you, Tyrone, because I'm not an aggressive person and I don't really see the need for that. You know, that's just not who I am. You know, if you do want someone who is aggressive, then, you know, then maybe there's another you know, channel that can provide that. But over here, it's about good vibes, good energy, banter, laughter, uh, advice, <laughs> um, education as well. I feel like we educate each other um, on these streams. What are you guys saying? Because I know you guys are learning just as much as me, you know, and I'm talking about everything, you know, countries, <laughs> everything. <laughs> uh anti these is saying i love you charlene don't change anything oh thank you so much and yeah i'm not changing i'm just being me don't worry Char. i keep supporting you oh thank you ashoke and you definitely do support me you've been supporting me from day one from the get-go so thank you so much i appreciate you and your support and i appreciate all of you who are supporting me 100 charlene cooler than a fan you are. Keep going. Oh, thank you, Eros. I appreciate you being a fan from day one as well. Thank you for supporting. We love you for being you, says Gary Grant. Thank you so much. And that is the key thing. I can only be me. So thank you. I appreciate it. Football game is saying, don't change. I ain't going to change. Thank you. You guys get me so like, oh, you just make my heart melt with your lovely comments. Reminds me of a comedy comedy skit I watched where a guy was given a ticket to an NBA game with this big guy who tried to turn it into um, a, a date. Okay, yeah, a gay date, LOL. Um, that is so funny. So, I mean, that's, that's a way of getting a date, isn't it? You just say, oh, guess what? I've got a ticket. And, you know, it's like inviting someone to the cinema, I guess. Um, but, you know you got you got to try hey another uh ball sent in by palmer um but yeah no one didn't manage to get on the end of it i bet arsenal last home game of the season will sell out yes for sure it will be do you remember when last season when um the last game was getting sold for like some mad price i think it was like like the tickets and stuff were going at some crazy prices boy could have really made some profit. Chelsea here trying to get a second goal against Newcastle. <coughs> it's okay. How's your stream going as well? Oh, sorry. I've actually read that. Almost 15 years ago, we need to change that for sure. I think he is talking about um, the Champions League. Arsenal fan or not, if you guys can vibe together, then she a real one yeah listen it's all about the vibes the good energy i mean why would you want to date someone who's just boring the boy too boring in for make it up fun as dexter Dex will say you know you need someone who's going to excite you you know life's too short for anything less yes totally agree we need to score early as porto will look to sit back and hit us on the break so we need to draw them out so Yes, nice early goal. We just need to be switched on and start with, you know, good pace, good energy, good intensity and get that goal, baby. Guys, excuse me. I do need another sip of um, water. Just break up my lemons a bit. Oh, 
oh my god this tastes so good oh mate it's so refreshing this is like the perfect temperature as well <clears throat> we're definitely a family on here innit because we literally share all moments together maybe our training for the marathon you've got a busy schedule i guess oh what is michael saying what are you referring to um i do have a busy schedule anyone who knows me will know that my schedule is absolutely crazy and yeah i am training for the london marathon i went for a long run yesterday um oh another shot by sterling but it went wide um I went for a long run yesterday and got absolutely soaked, but it's all part of the training and I don't shy out of anything. Um, it's about putting yourself in uncomfortable positions and who knows, on race day it might be raining, so at least I've trained for that. Oh, wow. Big up to James St. Patrick, who has sent in a super chat a big super chat for me so thank you so much saying keep up the good work keep doing do oh thank you so much for the super chat just is really really kind of you so thank you so much for supporting oh this is so sweet you guys are amazing thank you for the super chat it's appreciated greatly 50 pounds amazing big up to my sister charlotte as well Hey sis, how are you? It's been a while. Uh, big up to Rennie B saying, hey Charlene, how are you? I'm amazing. How are you, Rennie? How is everything going? What's Leicester City saying? Uh, big up to Ira saying, big up every time. Sam Bond, see you net in the building. <laughs> so we was actually coming up with um, a few names and uh, see you net was one of them you know, and I said, well, maybe that's actually not a true reflection of, like, who I am, like, as a person and everything, so C-Unit may not be, you know, the greatest one, you know, we've got C-Unit being suggested to be a bit more aggressive, what next? <laughs> Love it, um, AG is saying, hey, uh, Rennie B is great, amazing, Big up to Sam Bond as well. Charlene, your brings smile on people's face. Oh, thank you, guys. I'm so happy that I do put a smile on your faces. Um, honestly, that, that actually means a lot. So thank you so much. And I'm happy to hear that. No, Charlene, that's Curtis Shaw channel. I'm sorry. What's Curtis Shaw's channel? Let me know. Big thank you once again to James St. Patrick with this big super chat so thank you uh gary gant is saying good vibes only hashtag cs family you know the vibes it's good vibes baby that's what we're all about so that is what we're bringing that good energy uh ashake saying is that a tea coffee or orange smoothie you're drinking <laughs> it's none of those oh my god chelsea have just scored uh 2-1 it looks like it's Cole Palmer who may have just got Chelsea a second goal in this Monday night football uh let me wait to see the replay because I was um indulged in you guys's comments uh Palmer it's looking like it was him that scored yeah he's just turned back to give a thumbs up to the camera um so it was a throw in Oh, lovely by Cole Palmer. Where's Millie? Big up to Millie. I know Millie's a, a Cole Palmer fan. <laughs> lovely uh, go by Cole Palmer. I wonder if Millie's watching this game right now. <laughs> Millie, are you with us? So Chelsea are currently leading 2-1 at the bridge. Where is Ashoke? I know Ashoke is probably jumping up and down, losing his mind in excitement. Thank you for the update on the score as well. 2-1. What is your attire vibe today, Shada? You're like a too funny. I mean, 
So it's, can you guys guess? You guys are going to actually think that I've got like one pair of trousers. Well, maybe two pairs, like my uh, gym trousers and then my non-gym clothing. <laughs> Who wants to guess what I'm wearing today? Um, remember, I'm working from home right now. So what do you think I'm wearing? <laughs> it could be pajama bottoms. It could be um, gym wear. It could be lucky leathers. What do you think I've got on my bottom half? <laughs> leather pants, lol. How many leather pants do you guys think I own as well? Oh, another shot there as well. Who was that by? Saved by the keeper. This boy Palmer is mad talented. Yeah, that is probably why uh, Millie is such a big fan of him. We are this. Um, oh, sorry. We are playing against Chelsea for F FA Cup. So Leicester City is going to be playing against Chelsea in the FA Cup. Uh, oh, another super chat has just come in. Ah, James St. Patrick, keep doing you. Apologies about the spelling. I used voice chat. Here's another fifty quid for the error. Oh my God, keep making those errors. <laughs> Oh, big up to James. Thank you so much for a second super chat. Bloody hell, I'm actually getting a bit hot air. Uh, thank you so much. Listen, no need to um, apologise for the errors. Just keep them coming. No, I'm joking. That was actually a joke. But um, yeah, thank you so much. And, you know, it's so important that, you know, you keep doing you and being yourself, being authentic. So that's a bit of um, advice to all of you guys as well, you know. And, you know, when you are doing stuff like this, you're going to be judged with every move you make. You know, people are watching you and, you know, always have a comment and a, an opinion. And that's why I feel like it's even more so important to stay authentic to yourself and stay being true to you. So thank you once again, James St. Patrick, for both your super chats. This is very, very kind of you to to, uh, yeah, come with two big super chats like this. So thank you. You're actually leading on my super chat. So yeah, you are top of the amounts that's um, being sent in. So yeah, you, you hold the record. So thank you so much. Greatly, greatly appreciated. I feel like I just need to have that comment on there for a bit longer, you know? So guys, show James St. Patrick some love. Sam Bon is saying, at, say, at James St. Patrick, big up. Gary saying, you just another £50. <laughs> James is giving us complexions. <laughs> Buy some makeup for future videos, LOL. <laughs> well, now I can, you know, treat myself to some lovely makeup. Eros is saying, big up James St. Patrick. Uh, Michael saying two new pairs of leather pants. <laughs> Mr. St. Patrick, can I say what a lovely young man you are, sir? Oh, how much is second place? Uh, 49.98. <laughs> what are you going for? Second, are you going to buy second place too? <laughs> Um, I actually can't remember um, how much was on my second place. Maybe it was something like $9.99 or something like that. I, I actually can't remember, but I know that um, this is definitely the highest amount that I have um, received. So thank you. I will be treating myself to some new leather pants and some new makeup. There you go. You guys love some leather pants. Now I can afford to buy some more. <laughs> um, and I, what else are you saying? Oh, Tigana is saying, missing you on AFTV. I was saying that I will be back. So I will be back very, very soon. Michael is saying, James is related to Todd Bowley. <laughs> Love it. No, you guys are too funny at Michael. No, you guys make me laugh. Let's just highlight that super chat uh, once again for James is lovely, kind givings. And guys, I am going to reveal what I am actually wearing. And it is a pair of leather pants. You can see I've got my anklet on from Jamaica as well. But 
Yeah, leather pants. These are my comfy ones. I've actually got quite a few pairs. Oh my God, was that another guy? Oh no. Uh, I've got a few pairs of these leather pants, but these ones, I've washed them so many times they've actually worn out a bit. But yeah, my lucky leathers while I am speaking to you guys. So that is what I am wearing today. Um, right, what else are you guys saying? All Arsenal fans are complaining because Arsenal second and Leicester champions in the 2015-16 place. I have actually heard um, a couple of things about this, a couple of opinions, but yeah, I mean, I'm not saying we're complaining. Right now, we're just more focused on what we're doing this season, you know, and this season we're going to be winning things, you know, we're going to be winning the Premier League. We're focused on winning the Premier League and winning the Champions League. So, yes, that is where our attention and full focus is. Yes, please. Oh, what are you yes pleasing to, um, Gary? Arsenal winning leather pants. Yes, you know the vibes. We're always winning. Lifting the legs up was so easy. Um, I do yoga, darling. So, yes, that's light work. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, but I do actually do yoga. So, yeah. Look for attention elsewhere. What are you guys having some? <laughs> you guys feel like um, Rennie B seeking some form of attention? Lada mercy, says Gary Glant. Glant. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Just art skin, Sam Bond. Oh, okay, just asking. Lovely Lucky's Shah. And yes, thanks to James St. Patrick's. So I could treat myself to some more Lucky Levers. I'm actually going to share with you guys. So I did buy, actually buy another pair of Lucky Leather pants. But this, so normally, as you can see, I normally go for a skinny fit. This time I did actually get a loose fit that are a bit more flared at the bottom. And I was, I did actually try it on with my Arsenal shirt. And I was just like, nah, this does not, it doesn't really go. I think I need to wear them with some heels or something, like just dress them up. So yeah, I'm yet to wear those ones, but I have got another pair of pants. The leather pants. You guys love these pants. <laughs> the lucky levers. I do like the name of them as well. When's the Champions League draw? I'm actually not even sure when the Champions League draw is. My mind is just so focused on winning this game against Porto tomorrow. But I know someone in the chat will um We'll guess. We'll let us know. No, you guys are too funny. I'm guessing you're not a vegan. <laughs> All right, let me just disclaim that these levers are not real leather. So uh, they weren't made from an animal. And I can confirm that I, I'm a vegan. No, I'm joking. I'm not a vegan either. I do eat meat. But um, yeah, these are, they're fake levers, okay? They're not real levers. So <laughs> no, you like, actually make me laugh. Uh, Germs20 is saying, saw you outside a game a few months back. I bottled speaking to you. Oh my gosh, why did you bottle it? All right, next time, if you see me, like, come and say hello. Uh, I always love speaking to you guys. So yeah, don't be shy. Don't be afraid. I mean, you speak to me on hair. What you see is what you get, you know? So yeah, come and speak to me. It'd be great to speak to you guys. I always do love and enjoy speaking to y'all. I want both Chelsea and Newcastle to lose this match and Chelsea is going to pay for that when they'll visit the N5. So basically, Mervyn wants to go for a draw, well, wants is a draw in this game. As we do know, Chelsea are currently leading 2-1 against Newcastle. Big up to Alil Conte, who is saying goodbye from my side. Well, see you later. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, we appreciate having you here. So thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you on future streams. If you haven't already, make sure you do like this video and make sure you do subscribe. <laughs> J1 Johnson, where are you? Have you tried to put your legs behind your face? You mean behind my head? Um, I used to be able to do that. I, I'll be honest, I actually haven't tried that. So maybe when I do my yoga, my next yoga session, then I'm going to try that and I'll revert back to you guys. And if I can do it, maybe I'll even show you too. 
No, we aren't really complaining. Uh, Renny B saying, imagine Chelsea drew against Newcastle 2 all. So that's what someone else was just saying as well. Oh, so the next draw is on Friday. So, yes, we'll find out. So after we progress on, we'll find out who we'll be facing in the quarterfinals. Big up to AG saying, Charlene, beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. You need to give us a full length view. Really, guys? I mean, with the way everything's set up, I'll do that on the next stream. I do actually need to sort out my camera as well because I have got my camera sitting, you know, here and I just need to sort out the connection. Just asking, calm down. Wait, I'm actually reading you guys' conversation. Good evening to Natalie. So I'm assuming that Natalie, are you leaving if you're saying good evening? Does that mean like good night? Big up to Akin Yelly Richard saying, good evening, how are you doing? Good evening, we're doing amazing, thank you. How are you? We are here looking ahead to the game against Porto, which we are feeling really excited about. We're feeling really confident as well. Everyone in this uh, chat feels like we're going to get a win, I believe. I don't think, is there anyone who feels like the game is going to go to penalties tomorrow? Let us know uh, in the chat. Get active. Do you think the game's going to go to penalties? And also put your score predictions in as well. It's our championship. Yeah, live. Okay. Who's going to get fourth? Boy, all I care about is number one spot, which is what we're getting. Uh, Charlene, you are number one pun in a the look good chart. <laughs> right, I love this. Gary, what country are you from? Can you confirm? I'm I'm saying this in a Jamaican accent. What country are you from? Charlene. So just to make sure I'm putting on the right accent. Charlene, you are number one in our the look good charts. Oh, thank you so much. That's such a lovely compliment. Compli compli <laughs> you guys are making me lose my words. Compliment. Uh thank you. Charlene. Have you done any Botox? I'm assuming that's meant to say Botox. No, I have not done any Botox. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Um, I'm not, I like to be as natural as possible. So uh, I have not done my lips. And I have had people ask me if I've done my lips. I have not done my lips. They're all real. They're all mine. Um, I haven't done any Botox either. Um, yeah, I just... I don't know, I get a bit nervous about putting things in my body. Um, you know, even stuff like CBD and stuff like that. I was given some CBD gummies and I was like, uh, I don't really know too much about these, so I'm not going to eat them. <laughs> like, I'm very much like one of those type of people, you know. I just feel like, you know, your body is your temple and you just need to take care of it. And, um, yeah, I'm quite sensitive to to stuff as well. So I'm very careful about, you know, putting things in my body, especially when it comes to things like Botox and stuff like that. You know, there's a lot of chemicals and stuff in them, I think. I don't even know what's in it. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm not really about that. But obviously I have nothing against it and I don't mind other people doing it and you know it looks good on other people. But for me personally, I try to, you know, do the natural stuff and take natural measures. Arsenal versus Bayern, they have something to explain to us. Yes, it's about us staying on top of our game. Number one in Adi Look Good chart, um, Gary Grant is just reminding us of his lovely comment. Yes, here, 10.30. Oh, so, okay, so it's 10.30 over in Belgium, so you're one hour ahead of us okay so are you are you leaving now natalie is that what you're saying am i pronouncing your name correctly as well better not i'm not sure what omnicomsex is referring to because i've said a few things charlene would you change the squad tomorrow all right big up to football game do you know what um i i reckon it will be david raya who will be reverted back in goal so i reckon it'd be 
David Raya in goal. And I think for the rest of the squad, I'll leave it the same. You know, Ben White on the right-hand side, keep our centre-back pairing of Saliba and Gabriel and Kivior to start at left-back. You know, you guys know I've been a big fan of Kivior from day dot. In terms of the midfield, I know some of you are excited and really want to see Partey, you know, get some minutes and start the game potentially. But I will keep it as Odegaard, Jorginho and Rice and front three of Saka, Havertz and Trossard. That is my starting eleven for tomorrow, Arsenal versus Porto. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what your preference is, who you want to see start. Do you think Mikel Arteta will keep it the same? Do you think Aaron Ramsdale will start and go? Uh, what is your thoughts? Let us know. Get active. Big up to Obi saying good evening, Charlene. A good evening to you. Big up to Lee, who is predicting a 3-0 Arsenal win. I admit I'm nervous, but I think we should win. Okay, Michael's feeling a bit nervous, which is understandable, seeming as, you know, Porto are currently leading 1-0 on aggregate. So I do understand why you may be feeling nervous and you know we did find them quite challenging in the previous fixture as well so I can totally understand but remember we are Arsenal we'll get the job done one way or another big up to Sambon saying 2-1 Arsenal win reckon will win on penalties so Sam saying the final result will be 2-1 which will give an aggregate score of two all and Arsenal will win on penalties. I'll be honest, I really do not want it to go to penalties. I feel like it's just going to be so much pressure. Ah, oh, it's just going to be a lot to deal with if it goes to penalties. So I am hoping and praying that it doesn't go to penalties. AG's feeling confident with a 4-0 Arsenal win. Would you like to have Arsenal tattoo on your back? No, no, no. Guys, I'll be honest. I, I, Oh, my God. Chelsea have just scored. And it's Mikaela Mutric who has just scored for Chelsea. Bring in the scoreline to 3-1 Chelsea. So, Mudrick has just scored for Chelsea. So, as it stands, it is 3-1 Chelsea. All right, prior to Mudrick scoring that goal, I was saying that I don't have any tattoos. I have no tattoos whatsoever. And as much as I do love Arsenal and, you know, Arsenal for life, but I would not um, get an Arsenal tattoo. I wouldn't get a tattoo. I haven't even got my kids' names on my body. So, round the keeper and slot it in. Yep, yeah, so I'm not a tattoo person I do like them on other people you know I think they're quite attractive on guys and stuff like that so I do like tattoos but for me personally it's just not me I'm just not into getting a tattoo because I'm the type of person as well you know like if you're wearing like a nice outfit and you know you might just have the tattoo that may not go with the outfit and yeah I'm the type of person I'll probably get bored I'll get a tattoo and think actually I don't want this so yeah um no tattoos for me. Do you have any tattoos, Ashoke? Okay. Big up to Gary Grant. Okay, so Gary Grant is from Jamaica. See, I guessed it right. Me was reading the language right. So Gary Grant is from Kingston. So big up to all of our Jamaican and Kingston family. Uh, Ashoke is predicting a 3 0 Arsenal win. Love that. Get the Jamaican flags up in the chat. Broop, broop, broop. That is what we love to see. Um, Madobi saying, that's great to know. Keep being you. I like people who's being always natural. Yes. I mean, yeah, I think it's it's nice to just, you know, embrace that and, you know, sort of be thankful for what you have and just be mindful as well. Because, you know, you could put these things in your body and Later on in life, you just don't know how they may impact you and may affect you, you know, how your body will react. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you. And the same to you also. Big up to Mervine, who is going for a 7-1 Arsenal win. Can you imagine, like, 7-1? I will literally lose my mind in the stadium. <laughs> Guys, imagine we do get a 7-1 win. Oh, my God. I will lose my head, like, literally. <laughs> Charlene Abu. 
big up to you, Sam. I read Botox doesn't deteriorate over time. Okay, well, that is not something that I want to find out about. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Botox. I don't need Botox. I mean, I've got nice plump cheeks. I, I've got, I've got good skin. You know, I think I've got a nice face, so I don't feel like I need to add any Botox or anything like that. I'm thankful for what God has blessed me with, and you know, yeah, I don't feel like I need to add something like that. I sleep tomorrow work. Oh, so big up to Nathalie, who is now going to sleep, who has work tomorrow. Well, thank you so much for joining Nathalie. Sending lots of love to you and everyone in Belgium. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Will Partey play? I mean, I would like to see Partey get some minutes. I don't want to see him start. Do you want to see him start? Um, yeah, bring him on after is what I say. Do you Arsenal should go by Tony from Brentford? I mean, we have been looking at Tony and he has been the preferred um, striker to bring into the club. Uh, I must say, though, in that game against Brentford, he was looking quite feisty against our players. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, Tony, these are going to be your team members soon. So, you know, you got to, you know, turn it down a bit. But, um, yeah, I feel like Tony is sort of the striker that we are looking at if we were to bring in someone. We just can't not qualify tomorrow. Qualification to the next round is a must for us. Obi, I totally 100% agree with you. It is a must. We definitely have to qualify tomorrow. So that one is absolutely a no-brainer. Like, we need to do whatever we need to do I don't even care about clean sheet or none of that. All we need is a result. We need to just make sure we go out there and get the result tomorrow. We need that all-important W for sure. So that is the key thing that we need. I'd play Habits in the middle and Jesus replace Martinelli. He's injured. Okay, so Michael's preferred choice is to see uh, Jesus on the left-hand side as opposed to Trossard. Um, so yeah, that will be um, a good addition as well, and it'd be good, you know, for Jay. If that was to be the case, it'd be good for Jesus to sort of get those minutes because you can see that he is eager and hungry to score. Um, so that is E Ross's preferred choice. Uh, hi, Charlene. Tomorrow is a must-win. Tomorrow night, one of the biggest games of our season. Two 0 Arsenal tomorrow. We must big up to Tyrell who is predicting a 2-0 Arsenal win and just stating how important it is for us to get that all-important win in order to qualify for the quarterfinals of the Champions League. AG is going for, oh, is, oh I was going to say prediction, but AG is just letting us know that Chelsea are leading 3-1 against Newcastle. Eddie Howe under pressure says Sam Bond and yeah, I mean, he's got to be under a lot of pressure if he's sort of losing 3-1, you know, against Chelsea. No disrespect to Chelsea, but Chelsea have been struggling a lot lately. So, um, yeah, I agree with you on that one. I don't think we have been in a semi-final for our FA Cup. Well, there you go. You now are. If Arsenal win the league and Champions League, you should get one on your bum cheek. <laughs> No, you guys are too funny. Well, if it's on my bum cheek, you ain't going to see it. <laughs> I actually can't do it. Some of these comments, you guys just crack me up on my bum cheek, you know. I'll tell you what, as an alternative, I'll get some henna because henna washes off. So, yeah. Uh, Omnicom's saying definitely not into tattoos. Des Gunner is saying... 4-0 Arsenal win. Havertz scores again. I mean, it's almost as if we're getting used to seeing Havertz score. And we're just excited, like, predicting Havertz to score. I love that. Rennie B saying, I never had tattoos in my life. Is there anyone in here who has got tattoos? Does it hurt when you're getting them as well? I'm checking out. Thanks, Charlene. Big up. Big up to Sam Bond as well. Thank you so much for joining uh, great to have you part of the show and we'll see you again very soon. So thank you and good night to you. Mervyn Swag is 
full scale lol all right i want to see mervin i swear he's topless from what i see mervin where are you i want to see your swag you know, do you remember that song they're swagging and swagging and swagging on me oh there you go yeah i thought he was topless i mean that is some swag he's got going on there i can see the definition uh in that body beautiful physique so i'll big up to you all right i've lost where i am now that swag has made me lose my mind there we are uh variety is the spice of life plastic surgery is definitely when that yeah you know everyone obviously has their own preferences on things that they like and you know their preferences so yeah big up every time san see you tomorrow brother i love this i love like how we've just got a, like a nice family vibe going on Havertz is becoming undroppable in my opinion i mean he is undroppable I think Arsenal fans will be surprised if he doesn't start. It'd be like, what? Kai Havertz ain't starting. And that's what I just love, the way that it's all just turned around for him in a positive way as well. So, yeah, Kai Havertz is a must starter. Rennie B's predicting 1 1 for Arsenal against Paul O, which will bring it to 2 2 aggregate, what? 2 2 aggregate score and penalty for Arsenal win. All right. Wait, how does that work? Because Paul, so we're going to, oh, so it's going to be 1-1 one, one, and then 2-2 two, two, and then um, penalties. I'm hoping and praying it does not go to penalties. Partey is not up to playing speed yet. Declan Rice will score. 100% agree. I can't remember. Oh, losing is not an option for sure. We need that win. 2-1 extra time. The Penn Arsenal win. All right, Mervyn is saying, bye, guys. I start work at 7 a.m. Big up to Mervyn. Thank you so much for joining. It's been a great pleasure. Have a lovely sleep and enjoy work tomorrow. Yeah, get a two little trophies, one on each cheek. Hello, oh, no, you guys are funny. Um, come on, Arsenal, says Arsenal fan. Charlene, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Really looking forward to the game tomorrow. Um, Arsenal fan is saying, I think we will win 2-0 tomorrow night. Time for Emil to get his goal. Listen, I always get so excited when Emil Smith Rowe comes on and he looks like he's close to scoring. You know, I really, really want Emil Smith Rowe to get a goal to just boost his confidence. So, yeah, I would love to see that. Oh, look, Mervyn's came back. He heard us talking about him <laughs> and his swag. <laughs> we were just complimenting how amazing your swag is in your display picture. Did Arsenal score a hat trick for Pep team like Vardy did score? Okay, you guys are having conversations amongst yourself. AG is predicting a 4 1 Arsenal win. All right, guys, listen, we have been live for two hours now. Um, I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for joining and being a part of tonight's show. As always, it's a great, great pleasure speaking to you guys. Um, and it's always very enjoyable. And I can just see that a big comment has come in. So I am quickly going to read through that. Um, and then I am going to round off the show. So Mustafa saying Porto centre back and defence knows all about Saka and Martinelli as world beating wide men. So they will be double teaming up on them. So we have to split Porto down the middle. So Rice, Havertz, Odegaard can score i believe that is meant to say yes and i totally understand what you're saying so um mustafa was saying that you know maybe we shouldn't try and get something through the flanks you know we need to sort of try and work through the midfield and try and score and capitalize um in that manner um because obviously you know people see how amazing saka and martinelli is and obviously predict our game and just sort of know how to play against us is what mustafa is saying so yeah, it'd be interesting to see how we do line up against Porto tomorrow. It'd be interesting to see how we do start the game. Um, you know, I'm feeling really, really confident that we will get a result tomorrow. I feel like we will definitely get a win against Porto. You know, like you guys are saying as well, like we have to go into the next round. Like that is a no brainer. We are not going to get kicked out by Porto. So I'm feeling confident. I know a few of you are a little bit nervous. 
feeling like, you know, this game is going to go to penalties. And I know a lot of you are feeling really confident about us scoring quite a few goals. You know, you're expecting a high scoring game. So, yeah, all in all, we are excited about tomorrow's game. Um, a shock, eh? I will cut, but as soon as I come off here, I will come and jump on your channel to give a reaction to the game, which is currently Chelsea 3, Newcastle 1. I'll be honest, I haven't watched the full game because I've been speak speaking to you guys, but I will come and speak on your channel. So anyone who wants to join, uh, it's Elijah Talks Football. So do join us there quickly. Um, AG is saying, Charlene, by bless. Big up to you. Thank you so much for joining. Charlene, you've been amazing. Love your talk soon. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Thank you so much for joining. And yeah, enjoy the game tomorrow. Uh, big up to 2760DB showing a Dubai flag. Big up to all of our family in Dubai. And mwah, from Gary Grant, a big mwah, back to you. Have a great day today, Charlene. Thank you so much. Have a great day also. All right, guys. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Enjoy the game tomorrow. Arsenal versus Porto in the second leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League. Porto currently leading by 1-0 on aggregate. However, when they come to the Emirates Stadium tomorrow, it's going to turn around. We're going to show them what time it is. It's important for us to get that win and progress on to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Guys, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel. Oh my God, just as I'm saying bye, look who joins. I was asking for you earlier, J1. We were saying, where are you? Oh my God, Newcastle have just got it. It's all happening. I'm signing out and everything's happening. So Newcastle has just got it. Looks like it is Murphy who scored the goal for Newcastle, now taking it to 3-2. Okay. 3-2 as it stands. I didn't realise you were streaming today. Yeah, apologies. I did decide to uh, do it a day early as I'm going to be at the Emirates Stadium tomorrow. So because of my schedule, I decided to, um, yeah, do the preview today. So apologies. It was very short notice as always, but, you know, we will get this a bit more structured. But I did go live on Instagram uh, to let you guys know. Uh, will you be back for the Porto game? I will not be back to do a watch along, but I will be back post-match so we can have a catch-up on our reactions to the game. So, yeah, do come back and join tomorrow post-match and we can catch up then. Big up to Mervyn saying, bye, Charlene. It was nice talking to you. Wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, big up to you. Lovely speaking to you. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and opinions. And J1, we did miss you. We was asking for you. So thank you for joining us. 3-2 um, in the Chelsea game. Much love. You know it's all love around here, baby. Big up to Shay as well. 3-3. Three, three. Shay wants it to be 3-3 three, three in this game. I uh, hope you enjoy the game as well, J1. And here he is with the classic. Smash the lights. <laughs> we did have Nal Kane who was uh, reminding everyone so thank you so much. All right, guys. Um, I'm I'm gonna sign out now, but thank you so much for joining. Enjoy the game tomorrow. Let's get that all important win. And I'll be back after the game to catch up with you. It'll be a pretty late show because it's an 8 p.m. kickoff in the UK. So it will be uh, a late stream. But even if it's a quick half an hour, I look forward to speaking to you guys. So thank you so much. Sending lots of love to you all. Enjoy the game and Come on, you gunners. Let's go, baby. 